everybody. So I wanted to touch on the topic for black box analyzer and the limit that you get when you turn on the analyzer. Uh, that limit is derived by the sampling rate then when you're you know recording your logs in Betaflight. So if I look at the log here, the reason you might want a higher limit is because it, it can kind of narrow your view down. So you can see on this person's log, we can only see up to 125 hertz, which is really low. And many logs, it's up to 500 hertz. You want to at least see up to 500 hertz because there's a lot of motor noise. These shows between 200 to 500 hertz. And you want to be able to see that spectrum of your analysis here, but in this log, you can only see up to 125. Well, why is that? There's no settings you can adjust within the black box log viewer to zoom it farther. Uh, there's a, a zoom toggle here that you can go down and look, you know, down into the 20 hertz and kind of zoom in onto the lower noise range, but you can't go the other direction. You can see already maxed out in that, in that direction. Well, the key is the sampling rate. So if you go down to the bottom of the black box viewer here, you can see the sample rate. So it's one in, in 800, or one in eight, so it's a quarter. Well, what's that a quarter of? So I already know by looking at that sample rate and looking at their, their PID loop, free, their gyro frequency, excuse me, that they're recording at one kilohertz, which is what is recommended. You record at one kilohertz. But what the log viewer does is actually takes one eighth times your PID loop frequency. So, and then it takes half of that. So if you take one eighth times two kilohertz, so it's two kilohertz, I have a calculator here, you know, two kilohertz times 0.125, that's uh, 250 hertz, and half of that is 125 hertz. So why is it doing the half at the end? I believe that has to do with the Nyquist limit. And Joshua Bardwell has a, a good video, which I will link to in the upper right hand corner. Uh, you can, so you can check that out. But it has sampling and, and Nyquist limits. I believe that's why they're doing the half uh, of that, that rate. The other key thing that I think is uh, confusing is you would think you're going to sample at one kilohertz, but it's really you're sampling at a one eighth uh, sampling rate, and that's multiplied by your PID loop frequency, not your gyro loop frequency. So, and many flight controllers F3 specifically, if you're not running 8K, 8K, you're not sampling at one kilohertz, you're sampling at something less for your black box analysis. So you're missing uh, seeing some data. So if I look at this quad, you know, they, they need to up their sample rate to at least, um, if they're gonna stay at two kilohertz uh, for the PID loop frequency, it probably needs to go up to uh, four or four kilohertz sampling rate. So you can eat, at least get up to above that 500 kilohertz range because at, even at two kilohertz sampling rate, you're not gonna, you're only getting up to 250, as you can see there. So, so that's something for this log. Uh, the, you know, my personal log, I really want to see up to 500 kilohertz. Mine's limited to 250 here. So this is my, my quads log. I want to see up to 500 uh, hertz here. So what I need to do is go into beta flight. I go to my black box tab here and I'm going to change this from one kilohertz to two kilohertz, hit save and reboot. So after doing that, my logs will be able to show me, once I can click over, this will go from 250 up to 500. And then I can see the data I wanna see for my noise analysis. All right, thanks, I hope this helps.